Welcome to Nintendo Ninja, Ninja News. It's the NNN Show 103. I nearly lost my voice there at the beginning there. But um, it's okay. So I'm here to talk about... Um, about, you know, the channel and myself and that. And and talking about... Is, is being an honest, you know, clickbait-free channel pay off on YouTube? You know, is if doing everything by the book and doing things right pay off in the world of YouTube. And I'm probably going to say it sort of does and it sort of doesn't. Um, we talked in the last episode about one particular YouTuber who does clickbaiting and things like that. And he's not the only one who's guilty. Um, oddly enough, he's, he did delete that video. So, hey, we did something. Um, but... The interesting thing that I looked at is looking at the amount of clickbaits and how YouTube channels get rewarded for that. And it's it's almost like a life, you know. I think in the world of politics and world affairs and things like that, it's it's almost like if you do the wrong thing, you get rewarded for it. If you do the right thing, you don't. And you and it takes an awful long time for channels like myself to um, to rise and get subscribers and things like that. Oddly enough, Nintendo Engineers is doing pretty well the last couple of months. We got over 40 subs and this month has been pretty strong and and I'm very happy about that. But then, then again, you look at other channels that get thousands of new subs each month and you you see other video game channels that just skyrocket. And I, I know some of the reasons why um, this channel isn't the greatest when it comes to editing and things like that. I'm not the best at professional editing. We don't have the most professional thumbnails and all that sort of stuff. I don't do jump cuts. I don't do all that sort of fancy stuff. It's very much like um, presenting video game news um, as very simple vlogs, and I do that because it's simple and easy for me to do. You know, sometimes I do cut corners, and and yes, th this channel has not been entirely honest for those you know about to complain. You know, there have been times where I've put um, video descriptions or mainly video titles where um, they've been a little bit dishonest, and I've gone back and I've looked at them and gone, oh shit. Yeah, okay, now I understand why people are complaining, you know, not putting in the right word or I sort of should have used um, could instead of should or something like that in some of the videos. And looking at sort of my channel and it is slowly getting towards the thousand goal, which I set four years ago nearly um, for March, I guess March this year would be four years of Nintendo Engineers. And... Sometimes you, you do sit back and go, geez, well, you know, what if I did more clickbaity stuff, you know? Is Nintendo doomed or um, there will be no more Nintendo Directs because the January Direct hasn't landed and we're getting release dates for certain games and people wondering, oh, geez, is it going to be Nintendo Direct or not? Or doing that sort of stuff. And, you know, I could do that. You know, I do a lot of videos and I could do so much clicky bait stuff um but i know that 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 wouldn't work for me a lot of people would hate it um it might get you some subs people who like that type of thing <sighs> it's 4 a.m you see you see if i was a professional i would have cut that yawn out but you know i try to keep it um authentic you know, like like a real conversation between um, two different people. And I just sort of, I think it does pay off in the end, but it takes an awful long time. Like I could have, I could have gone down that path and gotten a thousand subs quicker. I could have done videos calling out bigger YouTubers. I guess uh, this other guy had like 22,000 subs. And I could call out people who's got millions of subs and get subscribers and people who hate them subscribe to me and build up like that. And we do criticize Nintendo from time to time. We don't go overboard with it, but we do. 
uh, when Nintendo deserves it. And at the moment, I guess Nintendo doesn't quite deserve it. They've been doing all right, um, except for the online services and and uh, that sort of thing. So that's another. <sighs> it's 4 a.m. So don't ask me why I'm doing videos this late. Um, because I can't sleep. But um, it's just something that I've been thinking about, and sometimes you do get annoyed at the growth gets to be slow. And I know that probably most of it's my fault. Most of it's because I struggle to promote the channel, and I, I feel like I'm doing a bit of a better job at that um, at times, and it makes it very difficult. Um, I, I do have... I don't possess certain skills that other big YouTubers have. Um, ones who are better editors, ones who have, um, who generate an income from doing this. You know, Nintendo Engineers has never really made any money um, from doing this. You know, I get some review copies from time to time. Oh no. <sighs> I should have had a coffee or something. And, um, and as you can tell, doing videos late at night is not good for me. But I just, I think the whole gist of this video is trying to explain that, you know, yes, I could go down the dishonest path and things like that, but I think that I would feel too guilty about it, and I think that you would get a lot of hate on the videos. And generally, I don't get a lot of hate on my videos. I Generally, it's pretty positive, which has been great. And I think it's because I'm still a small YouTuber and I haven't messed up. You know, I haven't really made a, a big mess up over the years. There's definitely been a couple of videos here and there where I've made a, misworded something or may have not uh, presented things the best. Or I think probably the video game reviews is something that I'm looking to improve. Um, you know, some people are saying, oh, well, you need to have the video game footage in it. And I'm like, oh, but people would just look at the video game footage and not listen to my words or they'll just scroll to the end of the video to get the, you know, what's, what, what I gave the game out of 10. And and that's, that's sort of the things that I'm a bit funny about. But I will change that stuff later on. And I think I'm happy about doing it the honest way. But I think the annoying thing is that it just takes so much longer. You know, it takes such a long time to, to do this. And, you know, there's other YouTube channels, and especially video game websites, where they've got a team of people to do this stuff. And they get review copies from Nintendo and stuff like that. And they get all these different advantages that small YouTubers don't. Um, I could do Super Chat. Um, but unfortunately, I need to get a thousand subs. I could, I could put merchandise if I wanted to down below every description and on every video. Can't do that. I need to get 10,000 subscribers for that. So you can, you can sort of understand my frustration where there is always this, um, this annoyance that there's always, it's like the rich getting richer and the poor getting poorer when it comes to being on the YouTube platform. And it does annoy me at times. But I don't know if I would really want to be a huge YouTuber. I don't think I could deal with everyone throwing comments and suggestions and ideas and things like that. And I do like that I hop on and talk about news and things like that and, and hop off. And I have a few fans and people who chat to me, which is very nice. But, you know, I don't think I could deal with hundreds of people chatting to me all the time and stuff like that. I think that would be a bit too much for me. <sighs> oh, I didn't yawn before all night during this until now. But um, that's why I try to keep it pretty authentic and honest is I feel that that's the right way for me. And I think if I tried to be fake, if I tried to put on a persona, if I tried to put on this very professional voice all the time, um, I think the mask would just fall off and go, uh, I, I, I can't keep doing that act forever. And it makes it tough. So hopefully this video actually makes sense to anyone. But I, I enjoy doing um, Nintendo Engineers and all that sort of stuff. 
but it's it's difficult it's it's hard being that honest channel um trying to do the right thing you know um what can i do using it as an example so i'm just looking into my videos and for example um like the video I did is Square Enix president right that streaming is the future. I could say no, he's completely wrong. Uh, streaming consoles will never come. That sort of thing. Or oh, don't just don't. No, that's okay. Or you know, such as a rumor, the Richer Three is headed for the Nintendo Switch. I could have said, oh, the Richer Three is definitely coming to the Nintendo Switch. You know, I researched one article and it told me it's coming, therefore I believe it and I am turning fiction into fact, sort of thing. And sometimes we do funny videos that I find online, like the Isabel sings in a cute dress or Toad sings joy to the world. And I like doing those because it, it breaks up the monotony of the, of the channel and, you know, it helps with the views too. But I like them too. I think they're funny little videos that other people might enjoy. So it's really hard to do that sort of thing. And it's the same thing with the Inky Pen review that I gave 5 out of 10 for. Now, if I really wanted to be sort of superficial, I could have given it an 8 or 9 and said, oh, it's really good. There's no problems with it. Um, everything's great on it. Um, you won't find any problems. Um, in case I was worried that they might not give me any review copies. And that's mainly to do with video game developers and things like that. But uh, I have to be honest. I have to be true to the heart and be honest with the viewers and the people and give a score that I felt like that was... I felt that it deserved. You know, I could have given a positive review and it could have gotten me even more views and could have helped me get a step closer to getting paid a little bit of money from YouTube, but no, I can't do that. So sometimes it sucks, but you know, sometimes you've got to do these things. And it's the same thing with the Australian Games Awards. You know, I gave them a whole bunch of suggestions. I could have been really rude about it. I could have said that I was, it was absolutely perfect, but I gave a whole list of, you know, things to improve on. Um, and said that it was a pretty dry event. It wasn't that much fun. So sometimes being honest isn't fun. Sometimes doing a YouTube channel, you know, the honest and clickbait free way is no, it's gonna it's gonna be a lot slower for your channel to grow. But at least you know that um, it's going to be the right way to do it. And Nintendo Ninja News hasn't really had a scandal. We haven't really messed up a video or anything like that. And I wouldn't delete the video. It would just be there as a reminder to myself of my mess up. Um, unless it was really bad or something or, you know, illegal stuff came in saying, you need, to, you need to delete that video, Chris. But hopefully the gist of this video that I've completely rambled on for nearly 14 minutes... Um, Gives you a bit of an idea to my, my thinking process about, you know, the honesty and all that sort of stuff. And yeah, it's it's annoying sometimes, you know, to see the slow, slow growth and I go, I could take the fast way out and not be honest with the channel and do clicky baity stuff and all that sort of stuff. But I know that all those subs that I could get wouldn't be the right type of people that I would want as my viewers and watchers and things like that. So, yeah, that's all I've got to say. And it is past 4 a.m. And I think I probably should be going to bed with the cat. It will eventually come in and nudge my head for the next half an hour. So that is it for me. I'm pretty tired and I shall see you next time.